What's good, everybody? So, Derek James is still out on his discredited Terrence Crawford tour. I hope you guys brought your appetite, because I'm about to cook. Let's go. Welcome to Tough Glove Boxing. I am locked in, and let's get ready to talk about it. Okay, so, yeah, like y'all heard, Derek James is at it again, and I'm not even going to waste your time. We're going to get straight into it, because let me tell you something, man. I want y'all to take a look at the left, right? Take a look at the screen, because I'm about to be cooking this whole video, so I'm going to take my time with it, so I can make sure I get it right. We're going to piss off some guppies today. For those who don't know what guppies are, those are Everett Spence Jr. fanboys, not necessarily Evo Spence Jr. fans. I'm just talking about the delusional, deflecting, uh, distraction, smoke and mirrors type of Evo Spence Jr. fanboys. That's always in everybody's comment section. That was in my last video's comment section because I said this week I'm killing all narratives. I'm killing all the narratives and we're going to kill this one narrative right now. I really want to do that's what we really want to win. Chop, 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 chop it down. Keep working it down. That's the challenge. Basically, they're going to do the same thing every we spent so always. That's all I want to do. You know, he has 13 out of 14 knockouts in his last fights. Stopped everyone at welterweight. How do you also prepare for power that perhaps Terrence Crawford? Look at his face. Just take for a minute. Look at the disgust on his face all the man did was ask him a very simple question this shows me that he has a true dislike for Terrence Crawford for some reason it's something is it just me maybe the guppies can get in the comment section and let me know what it is check it out look at it the man looked like he had a stroke at the man mentioned the Terrence Crawford's name unbelievable Anyway, let's see. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, who the fuck he fought, man? What are you talking about, man? Who he fought? Who he fought? 13 fucking. Who the who them guys? Who the guys? Who he fought? Who who them guys? Okay? But listen, don't get mad at Derek James, okay? It's not all his fault. Don't get mad at the guppies. It's not all their fault, okay? You cannot hold somebody accountable for their mental illness okay what we need to do is guide them and direct them easily and gently into the light okay maybe we can save them i don't know maybe we can save them before the fish fry in july because i mean i i i, I kind of feel like every smith jr fans might be on suicide watch the guppies might be on suicide watch but anyway this is the genesis of where it all comes from right here Four or five years ago, I think it was four years ago, 2018, right? Right after Terrence Crawford moved up to the division, everybody is like, listen, what's up with Terrence Crawford, right? Let's break it down. I'm going to take my time with it today. We're going to cook. We're going we gonna to stir the pot today. We're going to peel it back like an onion. There's layers to this delusion. Check it out. Hey, and, and I just want to say something. Um, a lot of people... Like, want to talk about the, when I say, oh, we're on different side of the streets and things like that. It's true. Like, we, me and Terrence Crawford on different side of the streets. He, he's just signed with ESPN. Did we not know who he was signed with? I prefer for Showtime with Fox. You know what I'm saying? So he's Al on different side of the streets. Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, in both make Al Heyman! <laughs> That's, yo, that, this can't be real. But listen, listen, let's go. He said, oh, I guarantee EJ leaving paycheck to paycheck. I'm definitely not living paycheck to paycheck. I guarantee you, we guarantee EJ living paycheck to paycheck. Wait, what? He's just signed with ESPN. I don't fight for ESPN. I fight for Showtime and Fox. Okay, so right now, they're saying, you know, why you not... Why you know you don't want the Terrence Crawford fight, or why you don't think the Terrence Crawford fight is gonna happen? And he's like, he's using the, the promotional company, the promotional company thing, right? Okay, just want to make sure we're on the same page. They can't fight because they're on two different promotional, um, you know, ESPN and, and PBC, right? And if he wanted to fight, he would have signed with the PBC. 
know what I'm saying? So we're going to this side of the street. Al Haven, you know what I'm saying? And then like if Bobak said, oh, I guarantee EJ leaving paycheck to paycheck. I'm definitely not leaving paycheck to paycheck. I guarantee you, if we check, I'll the pussy. Okay, so he said Bomac said that he was living paycheck to paycheck. But Terrence Crawford didn't say that. Didn't he hear? I guarantee I make more than him. Well, you make more than who? Bomac? Or, yeah, you make more than Bomac or Terrence Crawford. Because Bomac is the one who said he was living check to check. Terrence Crawford never said anything about his bank account. All right, anyway, but let's go ahead. He got three coaches. We don't know who the head coach is. What that got to so do with anything? Day, I'm a way better fighter. Can somebody get in the comment section and tell me what him having three coaches has to do about anything? He has three coaches, and he says, so that makes me the better fighter. I'm not even lying. Look, check it out. Receipts. Coaches. We don't know who the head coach is. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a way better fighter than Terrence Crawford. Who has it fought? The only name fight you fight is Yorkis Gamboa, the guy that... Gamboa. The guy that the guppies say was too small, Right? He even admit that Gamboa was a, a good fighter. Grand Gamboa was held as the Cuban Floyd Mayweather back then. Undefeated. Right? Him and uh, Terrence Crawford literally had identical win records and knockout percentages when they went into that fight. And that fight won fight of the year. But let's continue. He's asking the crowd who he fought. And then he said the only one he got is Gamboa. But the crowd is going to respond. The crowd is not going to go quietly into the night and let him push his narrative. They're going to challenge him. I follow Rob Peterson, Chris Algeria, Kel Brook. I mean, and how many fights he got? 30 some fights? So now, number one, let me see something right quick. Let's see something right quick. It's going down today. Let's see. So, Terrence Crawford has 39 fights. Okay. So, yeah, he probably was in his 30s by the time he got to, um, to him. So, he's right about that, right? But here's the thing that he said. He said he fought Kel Brook. Y'all heard him. Chris Algieri. Right? Lamont Peterson. Right? Okay. So, that's who he bragged about. Now, at that time, right? At this time... I don't know if he was going into the fight with Ocampo or if he had just beat Ocampo. I want to think, I want to say that he had just beat Ocampo because uh, Terrence Crawford became a three weight, uh, weight division champion in the same month he fought Ocampo. So let's just say for the sake he fought Ocampo, right? But he didn't mention him. But go back from 2018, right? Y'all see here, Ebu Spence's resume, right? He just named Lamont Peterson, Kel Brook, and Chris Algieri. But he felt at that time those were the biggest names on his resume. His resume. Meanwhile, though, meanwhile, after defeating Jeff Horn, Bud Crawford is a three-division world champion, undisputed. At the division he just left, he cleared it out. Right? And he's been a champion since 20, what, 14? Yeah, 2014. Actually, let me see. When Terrence Crawford became a champion, who was Edward Spence fighting? Let's see something. 2014. Peter Loach, 12 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws. Raymond Charles, 12 loss, I mean 12 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws. Ronald Cruz. What in the What? No baloney, uh, uh, man, look, here. Okay, so by the time Terrence Crawford had his first championship, Edward Spence was still fighting tomato cans. Okay, but who has he fought, right? But like I said, the crowd is going to push back. We're going to cook today, people. We're going to cook, here. Like I said, he's a great fighter, things like that, but you can't put him to me. Like, the guy he just fought for the undisputed uh, lightweight champ, uh, lightweight champ of the world. Julius Andongo. He stopped him. Now, Julio Sandango, when Terrence Crawford fought Julio Sandango, right? Julio Sandango was undefeated, right? He was a unified lightweight champion. Remember that. A unified lightweight champion. But let, let me let you know why they discredit Julio, Julio Sandango. Here you go. And he did. He said Regis Pro great. Curry stopped him. Later than he did. So... Regis Pro Great stopped Julius Sandongo in two rounds. 
Terrence Crawford did it in three rounds. So let's take... So now that's his reason for discrediting that opponent of Terrence Crawford. So let's use that same logic. Terrence Crawford stopped Kell Brook in four rounds. Abu Spence took 11. Look, guppies, breathe. That's not me. Your man, that's your man's logic. That's your man's logic. Calm down. Okay? All right. Sean Porter, Bud stopped him. He won a split decision. This is, this is his logic, guppies. This is his logic. Right? Let's talk about the people that he just brought up. Kell Brook. Right? Kell Brook. He beat Kell Brook in the 11th round. Didn't Triple G do it before him? Lamont Peterson had how many losses? So let's keep it 100 on this resume thing. At the time of this very interview, Bud Crawford had just become a three-division world champion, was already undisputed and won, and Evel Spence was just having his second title defense. Now, we're going to kill the whole Bud doesn't sell thing. We are going to crush that, and I think that's going to be the nail in the coffin for you guppies. So I'm going to save it towards near the end. I'm going to try to make this video not that long. But here we go. Let's go. Let's see what else he's talking about. I'm saying so you got to add it all into conclusion to who you say the top was. You got to add it all into conclusion. Somebody decipher that code for me. But let's go. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff is smoke and mirrors. That's what Bob Irwin do. Bob Irwin do a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors with him. And that's that's how it is with Terrence Crawford. If you name, name one of y'all name me a guy he fought. No, talk about Name me a top guy he fought that's better than Chris Algeri. Nah, that's better than Chris Algeri. Name him one guy. He said Felix Diaz. See, somebody answered the question. Felix Diaz. And you know what he said? I think Chris Algieri beat Felix Diaz. It don't matter what the hell you think. You asked the man for his opinion. He gave you an answer. Now, you don't like his answer. Let's go. Beat the Russian kid, Adango. Adango just got knocked out by by Reese Bergeris. Later than he did Terrence Crawford. So, so let me ask you a question. So has Lamont Peterson ever been stopped before? Um, Evel Spence stopped him. Okay. Let's 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 not even guess, right? Let's let's take a look, because we're using Evel Spence's logic. This is where it started, guys. This is where it started. Okay. Let's see something. Lamont Peterson. Let's see. Let's see. He fought Errol Spence loss, right? He lost a majority decision to Danny Garcia. He got knocked out by Lucas Martin Matisse, the guy that Victor Postal beat, right? The guy Victor Postal beat knocked out Lamont Peterson. Okay? We crushing guppies today. Okay? We're crushing guppies today. We're not playing games. Let's go. Let's continue. Hey, somebody else. Victor Postle? Victor Postle? Who he be? Uh, Matisse? See? Now, he was going to say something about Matisse. Then he remembered that Matisse knocked out Lamont Peterson. So he just skipped the question altogether and went right into Jeff Horn. Peep game. Matisse, Matisse, when he showed, when he get hit back, he folded. When Pacquiao hit him back, he folded. Matisse, but uh, Matisse, up, uh, but he showed he folded when Pacquiao hit him, he folded. Does that make any sense to anybody? Cause can y'all decode that? I think that see this, I, this is a language that I don't understand, but guppies understand it. You know what I'm saying? This is their fluent language. Can a guppy please get into the comment section and decipher what he just said for me? Here we go. He said undisputed at 140, but it's smoke and mirrors. Undisputed at 140, but it's smoke and mirrors. Why all of the energy towards discrediting this man? That's what my question is. He asked the crowd questions. They threw him answers the same way we do to the guppies. And what you hear is exactly what you hear coming out of his mouth.
Exactly. Never mind the facts. Am I lying? Am I lying yet? Y'all full? Y'all still want more to eat? All right, let's go. Let's go. I thought Manny Packer beat him. I thought Manny Packer beat him again. Jeff Horn, who had Jeff Horn beat? He said, I thought Manny Pacquiao beat him, and then I thought Manny Pacquiao beat him again. Wait a minute. I know I'm not going crazy. Hold on a second. Hold on. I think I'm losing my mind. Did I miss something? In terms of in, 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 in Jeff Horn's career? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. No. He only fought Pacquiao once. Hmm? Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm showing y'all on the screen. I don't want y'all to think I'm making shit up. Okay? All right, let's go. Did y'all just see him swallow? Look at this. <laughs> they told him who a couple who times. Who has Pacquiao. The man you tried to fight. Before like Ugas, said, remember? He's a great promoter. Smoke and mirrors, like I said. All the time, smoke and mirrors. He doesn't beat anybody, bro. You can't name somebody. Anybody you name, I can, I can argue with that. Exactly. Everybody. That's the problem. He said the Benavidez fight. That's a good fight. I got, I got a tape of me beating Benavidez in sparring. Punch. Okay. He got a tape of him beating Benavidez in sparring, but Crawford beat him in the ring. I don't think the Spartan is on his record, is it? Okay. Regardless of the street, wouldn't you love to fight Terrence Crawford? Wouldn't that be a spectacular I mean, I like, fight? Just fantasy. Wouldn't it be I great? Like, you know, it's a big money fight because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, drinking the Kool Aid. Look, look, there's okay. a lot of streets in boxing right now. <laughs> there's a lot of streets. But no, Lou that being said, if the fight gets big enough somewhere down the road, and we're talking about a lot of commas in the numbers, then somewhere down the road they'll find a way to make the fight. But at the end of the day, I feel like me and Keith Thurman is the fight to make. There you go. There you go. Okay? Now, let's find out what Bud was thinking when he moved up to 147. Receipts all day on you guppies. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bud. What we talking? Who does Terrence Crawford want? I want the other champions. I want the big fights. Huh? Bob, let's make it happen. Who? I mean, who does Terrence Crawford want? I want the other champions. Huh? I want the big fights. Who? Bob, let's make it happen. I mean, who does Terrence Crawford want? I want the other champions. Did he not say it? Oh, you didn't say his name specifically. Was every Spencer champion or not? Was Keith Thurman a champion or not? Huh? He want the other champions. He didn't say, oh, well, he fight for PBC and I fight for top rank. Oh, you know, all the other welterweight fighters. I just have to take what I can get and blah, blah, blah. He said he want the other champions. Meanwhile, every Spencer saying Smoke and Maris, who he fought, other side of the street. You see it right there. And this video is not about ducking. We're past that. This video is to kill that bullshit about Buck Crawford's resume. Lou DeBella said it. They work within the constructs of what they have. Everybody that was major on a PBC, a major name, was signed to, to Al. They were on a PBC side. They didn't want that smoke with Terrence Crawford. Oh, because he signed with the wrong promoter? Let's kill that narrative. Because y'all always say he didn't want the big fights. He didn't want the big names. He wanted to go the easy route. Isn't that what the Guppies talking point is? Come on, Guppies. Say it in the comment section. Isn't that what you say? He took an easier route. That's what y'all said, right? Crushing Guppy Day. Let's go to today's show and bring out some more receipts. <clears throat> by Thank the way, you, Bob, and yeah, by the way, it comes down just like Bob said. It's the fighters. No, so not, 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 let, let, let's bring it back because y'all already see it. Don't click off, Guppy. 
Calm down. Don't click off the video. All right? Just endure a little more for me. Now, this is Sean Porter, a PBC fighter, going up against Bud Crawford, a top-ranked fighter. The street somehow disappeared. But, here, let's, let's see what one of the PBC representatives have to say. <clears throat> Thank you, Bob. And yeah, you look at it, it comes down just like Bob said. It, it's the fighters. It's always the fighters. When 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 they ask for something and they it's a fight that can be made, we're gonna go do it. We're gonna we have we've worked with top rank you know many times in the past and it seems like the relationships just been getting better and better and if we, you know, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to tonight. It's been a great event, great promotion, and uh, obviously November twentieth, we're going right back into it. What? The fighters decide, and the promotion companies have no issues working together because they worked together before, but three years ago before this fight, Evo said the street. But again, so it's, it's worked very well together. Thank you. Hold up, hold up. Time out. Check them. Time em. out. Check them, TCB. Can you I mean, reverse what you just said TBC? a few minutes ago? It's uh -huh. the what? The fighters that makes the fight, that want the fight, you go get the fight. That's right. Now, I don't know where you're going with this. All right, all right, all right. I just wanted y'all to hear it. I don't know where you're going with it. No, 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 no. But it's a new day. day. It's definitely it's a, a new, new day. day. It's definitely a new day, but I just wanted y'all to hear that on camera. Mm -hmm. So y'all know it ain't Terrence Crawford that's been stealing the fights, all the fights that y'all been wanting to see. I just wanted y'all to know that. Live and direct. Hey! Hey, get away from that window, Guppy. Don't you jump out that window. Don't you jump out that window. Yes, a guy from the PBC actually stuck the foot in Errol Spencer's mouth for him. Bud doesn't sell. Hmm? He's not a drawer. Let's do something. Let's see something here. Because I've got some more receipts for you. Let's talk about viewership. Hmm? Terrence Crawford viewership. I'm going to end it right after this because this is the nail in the coffin right here that I was talking about. So Terrence Crawford, right? He's not popular, right? Check it out. Crawford and Benavidez, right? Viewers, the average 2.6 million viewers, right? Exceeded the combined totals of Showtime Championship Boxing's last for broadcast. That's the Ring Magazine. Come on. Let's go. Let's, let's continue. Get away from Guppy. Somebody get that Guppy away from that window. Don't let him jump out just yet. Don't let that Guppy jump out just yet. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. What did Terrence Crawford do? Uh, let's see what else he got. Let's see. Other fights other than... Um, let's see what he did against Gamboa. Right? Let's talk about Gamboa viewership. Right? See what they say. Do they have the information? Viewership? Jeez, I don't see it. Let me see. Let's look, guys. Let's look, see what the viewership was. The venue. Do we have viewership? Because I think it was like 2 million or something as well. Right? Dang. I can't find it, guys. I can't find it. Y'all lucky. Y'all lucky. But y'all saw Benavidez, right? That was common for Terrence Crawford on ESPN. Oh, here we go. Terrence Crawford versus Carol Brook. Right? Top rank on ESPN average 1 million... 33,000 viewers. Okay? That was his fight against Brooke. Over a million. Right? Crawford Brooke bout peaked at 2,078,000 viewers on ESPN. That's what it peaked at. After everything came out. Anyway, it was nice cooking you guppies today. But buddy's getting the comment section. Hell out victory. Locked in. 
Tough Glove Boxing, I'm out.